Hey there guys, it's Metro and we are back. I was like, oh, it's a little cloudy this morning. Then I realized, wait, no, it's just still nighttime. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, yeah, 7.30. Don't think that's nighttime anymore, Blizzard, but that is up to you guys. So a lot has happened. I'm going to read you guys some things that have happened, not to my character or anything, but to the video game I'm playing. Uh, I don't know exactly uh, what is coming as well, because there's more than just this, but some big changes. Um, I like how they're po posting optional. I thought that said optimal at first, but it says optional. Anyway, uh, some big changes here. I'm going to read them all out. Enemy power scaling, particularly in group content, has been adjusted to be less aggressive. Apparently, this is an issue. I don't know. I didn't do any leveling content that was in a group. I don't honestly know why you would. And frankly, this is why it's unfun, because the players are garbage. Uh, their characters, not necessarily their skill level. Uh, so maybe that would make it easier now. I don't know. But I didn't really feel like it was the 40 to 70 range. It was pretty much everybody. Like you guys watched the last episode <laughs> where that guy, the two guys did less than half the damage together. Anyway, gear drop rates have been improved from World Rares, Rare Elites, and Quests. This is really exciting. This will help players who have had their item level fall behind as a leveling speed increase. Uh, what also this does is an increased player bronze and appearance acquisition. <laughs> they added that appearance acquisition. Love that. By increasing the number of items to place in the unraveled sands for additional bronze. They have to basically spell that out. Because for some reason there's a lot of people in this video game that don't see the big picture on Mop Remix. But yeah, this is awesome. Uh, presumably I haven't done anything yet, but I hope that is going to be good. And, uh, you know, we don't have too many quests left on this character, but this is really nice for subsequent characters because they're basically saying all the right things about, uh, you know, there being a reason to uh, get even more and more gear. And especially if the character levels more and more quicker, you know, quicker and quicker, then you're going to need more and more gear. So they seem to understand that. The first time bonus for queuing for LFR will grant a thread of experience in addition to the existing lesser bronze cash. This should improve LFR as a viable choice to leveling main characters. Yeah, and that's uh, without players feeling like they need to grind the same. Yeah, that was totally degenerate. There's some really, really, really degenerate shit going on in Mop Remix. And I just want to address that really quick now that's on my head. Like, I don't know why you guys are doing this. You can do this. Hey, if you want to do this, I guess fucking have at it, man. Go have at it. But... If you then want to complain about it being fixed or changed, like, I, I'm so, I just have no sympathy for that. Like, I really don't. Like, this is, at the end of the day, a video game, and I honestly would recommend playing it the way it's supposed to be intended to be played. I don't understand why. It's not in this post, but um, there's also this post, I believe, about... Is this actually it? What is this? Shirts and tabards. Uh, I don't know what that even is. Um, fix an issue spawning Vorth. I don't know what any of this stuff is. This is this is it here. Fix the bug causing gold flocks to unintentionally drop lesser charms of good fortune. That no, that wasn't unintentional. That's how it works in Mop. What are you talking about? <laughs> Unless they changed it like right at the end of Mop or something like that. That's how it worked in live. So I don't know. It's kind of weird stuff there, but um, yeah. But yeah, okay, so some changes have been made, and uh, none of them really impact me right now, but... Oh, here's another one. We increase all bronze gain from all qualities of bronze caches by 25%. Unfortunately, we've already gotten most most of those. But there's still a lot out there. Uh, oh yeah, we also want to do all the scenario, the normal scenarios, too, now. So yeah, in this episode, uh, I don't know what exactly we're going to start with. Oh, I actually want to do that Shao Hao quest that we got last time. Let's start with that. And I got a bunch of mail. It's these stupid yaks, I think. Yeah, I got to delete these. I don't know how you solve this. This is a huge pain in the ass, honestly. They don't go away, and I don't have any use for them because they're way too like, hard to pilot. Can I just delete the mail? No, you can't. You can't even delete the mail. What an annoying thing. All right, but anyway, um, yeah, let's go do that Shao quest. Oh, and uh, actually, yeah, I'm going to try this on screen. Forget the Shao quest. We're going to do a full round of dailies this episode. This is going to be our first uh, first episode where we try dailies only. Okay. 
because I don't even know like what the future of this looks like. But I mean, we're already like there's not much left. It's gonna be the Isle of Thunder. We gotta do probably in the next episode, and then uh, that's pretty much it. The raids, I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna wait on that as long as possible. Um. And it's just killing stuff. Raid Finder Terrace. You know, like, we're, we're going to get a lot of these. Actually, we're going to get some of these even without trying. Like, that is just... We got to do that normal scenario, and then that's it. We are the watchers. Uh, I definitely want to do the August Celestials every day, though, because uh, I started tracking that. And as you see, I'm actually, like, it's coming. <laughs> so, we don't necessarily... Uh, we can definitely hit Exalted with the August Celestials. <laughs> Sorry, my allergies. Very, very bad. This week end. I uh, went golf yesterday. Whenever it's hot in May, it always that's uh, that's the recipe for bad allergies for me. It wasn't really bad up until this point. stream set up gotta do that real quick back to mythic plus today today's a i'm recording this tuesday morning but it won't be published till wednesday all right well we didn't get a piece of gear from that oh we got this one so it's a week five now yeah season's flying by so is the summer hasn't started yet it's not memorial day yet the unofficial start of summer Alright. I quite like this one. This one's way more fun than the other one. Wait, what? Huh? I guess, how do you fail it? You have to get killed by it? Like, I don't think that could even happen at this point. 80k physical damage. Let me just stand still. I go AFK and he won't kill me. I'm not even sure. Like, I don't know how you fail it, to be honest. You have just get knocked out? Basically, just like follow one. That's what I always do. Oh, we did it. I think those things are the things that are supposed to do damage to you. But we need the lesser charms anyway, because we could turn those in for August Celestials. So I don't know, like, how efficient this is, but it's a. Uh... It's a good mop experience, I feel like. Doing all the dailies. I just wish there was Paragon boxes or something, because it's like so fucking easy to get rep now. And that's just because of the uh the mop, like the bonus. Like that's why we don't have the August Celestials done, because I never got exalted with those. Or I think I told the story now, I think I huh. I think I did get exalted with them and I got unexalted with them. Because I was Killing guards on the Timeless Isle a ton back in the day. I don't know if that's for sure the issue, but uh, we did not hit like anywhere near enough speed to make this jump. Uh, all right, we're good though. You can kind of get lucky with the momentum and just get rolled right up the wall. I 
And that's it. You don't even have to do it fast. This is just for the achievement if you get to 20 stacks. Roll club. Got an achievement once before in my life. Pretty much every time you can get it. Alright, well, now we got a gear piece. And a new transmog too. I guess there's, there's like a lot of transmogs, right? It's actually crazy. I guess I have a lot of them now. Not sure what most of them, like where the ending point would be. Anything that doesn't look like mop, I guess. Yeah, so this is where it ends. So I have like almost all of them now. I need boots. Anyway. Um, all right, let's go finish these dailies up. Wait, what? Whoa, what the hell is that? <laughs> it's like a ton of bronze all stacked up or something. Where's this tower? Let's get all this while we're up here. I don't know, I kind of like this. Obviously not the fastest way to get bronze, but it is fun. Anyway, we're supposed to be doing some. I'm like ultra turned around right now. I'm a little confused here. Here's the pots. Do I not pick this up? Is that what's happening here? I don't. I picked it up. Oh, let's do this one. Not a very populated spot. <laughs> it's a really badass place, though. Like, the fact that there's this fucking gigantic wall, and what I, I guess it's here because of the mantid is that I don't know why the, what the wall's here for, but. Because the mantid, like, constantly, like, repeatedly, like, try to invade over the years. Is like the Pandaria Empire like ancient as fuck? I don't even know. Cop will tell me. I just say things in videos and then wait to hear cop's response in the comment section. I'm pretty sure it's not as old as like the Night Elf or something, but they've been around. I love Pandaria, man. It's such a great like source of lore and story, I feel like. How is that not a Night of those? The achievement for this one is to just have one torch kill all 80, which is usually very easy if they're tightly clumped. You just put fire down on all over the place first and then throw the torch. And typically the torch, like the mob that's running, ignites another pack. But for some reason it didn't seem to happen there. We 
are the sword in the shadows. Don't say we are the watchers on the wall, bro. We are the guard. We are the shield that guards the realms of men. All right. So what is this? Gulai artifact. We're gonna do this. Get fucking paid. Hopefully, more gear means more epics as well. Oh, 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 oh. I did play a little bit. I did a couple dailies off stream just because I had like 30 minutes free. I got a fucking epic. Obviously, I want to show this shit off, so apologies. But I got an epic. Pretty, uh, I mean, that's great. I'm happy about it, but. I'm probably going to wait to upgrade any gear. I, I, I don't know when changes would occur, but they're sounding like they're going to be making changes to uh, the amount of requirements for upgrading stuff, which I don't I don't know, though, for sure. But we'll wait until whatever the next round of hotfixes are to upgrade any more gear, I think. I love this area though. I mean, I just really wish there was a way to just do the original. Like, I don't think there's any way to, like, not even private servers, right? Because, I don't know. I've not, not, never looked at a mod private server, but I don't think even private servers have the original gold London stuff, right? This is a very unique area because you're meant to like do this little puzzle. There's not a lot of physical puzzles in WoW, I feel like. So you're meant to take this thing. Oh, what happened? Did it go away because I got in combat? Oh no, you just click it and then the wall opens. That's how it works, okay. Then this wall opens over here. But you can also just die. <laughs> That's not me and or, or was it I don't think it was I think I think I did this on like the I did it on some kind of Shadowlands beta leveling challenge when they first introduced Chromie Time. Couldn't I think I was playing a naked Ooh uh, blue yeah. Alright, I'm getting some gear. I think uh, they introduced a uh, oh, somebody's fighting in a ring. But anyway, uh, I couldn't kill anything, so I just died, and you can run all the way down here. Why are we killing this? I guess you need to. Ancient Gulai cash key. Let's open one of these. Oh. Golden Lotus Rep. That's what we needed. It's a count bound, though, so I guess we'll just hang on to this for another character. Although I don't know what the... I guess this is actually kind of interesting because if you get enough of these, you can literally just send bronze over to new characters, right? Pretty cool. Because, like, every time you get exalted on a new faction, you get a bronze cash, so. Quite nice. I don't have any other ones right now. I don't know where you would actually get them. Just by killing that one mob, or is there? Did we get more or something? I don't know what the Shao Ten race is. I think it it's like something to do with cooking or something, but I don't know. We 
We got the tufts. Got them yak furs. Let's go over this side. I've never gone over this side. It's just so fun to like pull a hundred mobs in this game, dude. Especially when you uh, have all your actual shit up. Like, cause I could have killed all of those with Thundering Ore, but I knew that Shaman was gonna get it done for me, so there was no reason to. Gulai Ritual Center, okay. Not much going on here, I guess. Probably some, I think like the way it worked originally was like, you unlocked one segment of this at a time. And the first one was this one. And then the next one was the one we were just at. And then the final one was the area downstairs with the dragon that needs to get killed. We got fucking tons of threads though. I don't know if they upgraded that chance too, but... Threads seem like wild, dude. Like, was it Chick? Somebody posted it with like... I think it had to be him. Let me see. Cop's got 10k. Cop posted his. He's got 10k stamina. There's cops. And mine is. He's way ahead of me. Miles ahead of me. But it's not a race. Like, I don't know why people keep acting like. Somebody said the other day, they're like, it, it just feels bad that there's now people so far ahead of me because they exploited something that got fixed. It's like, why? It's, this isn't fucking Mythic Plus, bro. Like, they, there's no advantage gained here. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Like, it's purely, it's all personal. Like, there's not a single thing on here that you need to worry about. You will get it all. And you will get it all based on how much effort you put in. And that's it. There's no skill requirements on anything. Like, I mean, maybe the raids are hard. People keep telling me the raids are hard, but they're just not well made. I think it's just like you're meant to have really high HP, which you will have because of the power that you're going to get. I need to hold down shift while I'm talking to these guys because I do not want to accidentally spend... Um, I do not want to accidentally spend those charms on... Something other than August Celestials. August Celestials again up in that temple. I really don't like that one. Uh, let's do Town Long Steps next. I only have about 40 more minutes, so we should be able to finish all of them, but I need to make sure we finish the August Celestials. Because that's the number one one we want. And I'm waiting to finish the other ones first so I can turn in all the lesser charms. Those dailies are always the same every day, but the rest should be different. Well, I guess we'll rent the wrong zone. We'll do Glaxy. <laughs> Let's do Glaxy. These ones are a lot more spread out, if I remember correctly. What is that quest? Oh, we never actually got all the Paragons unlocked. I forgot about that. That was on the PTR we did that. Oh, see, I did it. It's, yeah. Unfortunately, it's going to be really hard to remember to do that at every single turn in. Oh, there we go. Another DC. This happens all the time in Mr. Pandaria, and I have no idea why. Got a uh, 
kind of bought myself a little gift here. I'd almost never do this, but I saw this hat. I love it. Not like a huge like military guy, but obviously like you know I gotta respect anybody who's willing to go get blown up. But uh, yeah, this is a fucking awesome looking hat. Yankees War. I don't even know Arms Forces Day. I have no idea when that even was. Was that this weekend or something? Uh, the third Saturday in May, so that's past right, but yeah. There, that's a great looking hat, so I bought one. 35 at United States dollars. Kind of expensive, frankly, but it's a Yankees hat. I mean, what, what do you expect? Can't even get a hot dog for $35 at Yankee Stadium. That's an exaggeration, but it's probably not going to be far from being the case at this point. I've not been to Yankee Stadium since 2010, maybe? I don't know when we went last, but won't go again. I can't imagine my dad was always the driving force behind those trips. Right, that was easy. Oh, uh, we're not done. So that wasn't easy. Are we gonna get credit for that? We lobbed that like fucking holy shit! What a lob! That is how you maximize getting your world quest done, bro. Literally leaving the fucking area and throw like I'm talking about Kobe, dude. Like holy shit, is that far? <sighs> The guy that I oh know, okay. I serve the will of the galaxy. Killing turtles. What is what is the possible need for this as the clock be? Quest is not being tracked, I guess, either. As Kovac grows, he will require equal parts discipline and reward. I lack no shortage of discipline, but our supply of meat is almost empty. To the south, you will find turtles roaming north of the Lake of Stars. And then... When we discovered the shot influence at Kaiperi Zara, I had hoped the corruption could still be cleansed. Unfortunately, the Kalaxic Council has confirmed that the Shah of Fear's corruption is deep seeded. Is that how you spell that? I just thought it was seeded, like the word seed. To the south, I have observed some of the local wildlife and consumed by the una unnamed terror. No, those are just like. These are. They're just scorpions. They're hostile no matter what. See how fast shit dies now? And I'm like, I'm behind, quote unquote. What, like, what, you know what I mean? What are you worried about being behind for? I don't understand. Now, what are we doing here? I don't, the, none of the dailies are tracking for some reason, so. Mistblade Ripper. Just killed six mobs. This is gonna be a tough one. Oh, I didn't mean to pop that up. Okay, that one's done. Uh, miss, now this is in the cave. Yeah, I don't know. I might sue Blizzard because you know I missed the frog. I missed the frog farm. I was at the uh, social social justice march, so I wasn't able to log on this weekend, um, and I missed the frog farm. And now there's no way I'll ever get Galleon Mount. So I might, I might actually, I'm considering suing Blizzard, but we'll see. If they uh, hotfix the game over the next uh, two weeks, I might, I might consider replaying their video game. But as of currently, I refuse to play this game because of that. 
Well, after this episode. After this episode, then I'll never play their game again. Unless they fix my problem, man. Alright, so we need to uh, kill these guys. Just all these ones that are cloudy. What's this one doing? Okay, that mob's dead. I'm really behind, so I don't know if I could even... I, I'm, I'm not sure I could even kill mobs anymore. Kind of impossible. Uh, what do we need? One more of those elites? Oh, we never did this. That was, yeah, all right. That's one of the quests that I never actually finished in the zone. Now that we're like done with the actual zones and they are buffing the quest though, I'm probably gonna go back to just doing like every quest that the zone offers if I could figure it out. Oh, don't turn them in, okay. That is much to be I don't think we had enough to even turn them in there, so. Okay, that one done. It is crazy how much more fun doing these dailies with like power is though. I fucking hated these things. I remember hating, cause I played a holy pally bro and it was brutal. Trying to do these dailies as a healer was fucking brutal. We should also check check for the Warbringers, because that's actually... Alright, that achievement's done. So that should give us a bronze cash, right? It gives 500 now. What was it before? 25% less, so. Let's check for the Warbringers, though, because that can give us August Celestial Rep in a large chunk. And like I said, the more of these tokens we have, the better, because we can just make alts and send them the rep and immediately finish the achievements and just get bronze that way. Not up. Should check every time we do the daily. I should check all the zones. It's actually interesting because every zone is coastal other than Vale, which is quite cool. Never really thought about that on Pandaria. Quest here. Speak up. Until next time. What do oh, you need? this is the guy you need to turn it into. Don't do that. Why are those like orange quests? I stand to protect care. Do not lower your guard. Is that the actual dailies? They were like yellow quests, like if they were real quests. Looks like it. doing but we'll be doing it no problem yeah we did it Spirits return to their remains. In what do we have to do? You have to like pull them over to it, maybe. 
gonna be an interesting quest. We might not even be able to do this. I think that the dust is supposed to be used for something. Oh, then you can click on it, I guess. Oh, it's four per. That's fine. It's just like a million of mobs. And then corpse defiler. We're killing those two. I'm just, it's just, I'm just too far, I, I, I'm done, like, I'm just gonna be done, I'm just too far behind, I didn't do the frogs guy, like, I mean, now that they've nerfed it, it's impossible. I can't do my golden lotus dailies. Can't fucking believe Blizzard fucked me like this. I can't have, I've never been so unlucky. I take no responsibility for this. Also, like that, I need to make that clear. I also take no responsibility for this. Is J. Allen Bra I might go fight him. Is he still a the thing? Because I might fight him. Shall not fall. We'll see. Like, I'm... Yeah. All things are on the table right now, guys. Like, I'm just letting you know. I'm very upset. And I... Like, I have a voice now. Like... I can type things. So, like, I might type things. What are we doing? That's it, I guess. Just pulling them. Uh, we're not actually done though. We got highly explosive Yungle oil and Gai Cho Yungle Earth Talkers or Pit Throw Flame. What the fuck is happening here? Apparently, we have this quest too. I what is going on here? These guys. Probably don't drop loot, right? Yeah, okay. Otherwise, there'd be people here farming it. And complaining simultaneously. There's so many mobs, I'm not sure how we'll get out of combat, so we gotta try to run. <laughs> this zone's nicer than I give it credit for, though. I'm not really a big fan of this zone. Aesthetically. Man, we... Okay. We fight that other. I don't know. Oh, we were supposed to get the explosives and use them to kill the enemies? Is that. Did I miss something there? I don't even know what that quest was, to be honest. Let's just kill him. Strike at the enemy. I always sit there and think, like, ah, I'll save my CDs. It's like, for what? Like, <laughs> there's nothing ever going to challenge. Like, this, this zero challenge. Like, it's actually no content that will challenge you, I feel like. I mean, it obviously, it's world content, but I don't even think, like, the scenarios or, or the dungeons would even remotely challenge me at this point. 99% sure I could solo everything other than raids right now. Well, I know I can. It's just whether or not there's some mechanics that make it impossible, I guess. Yes. We may not do enough DPS to kill things that fast. But yeah, sometime this week I want to try it. I want to go into uh, some dungeons and see if I can solve them. Because if we can solo them now, like, this is going to be a short playthrough. Because I don't really care to 
Like if if the power is truly infinite and people are already this powerful, then it's just like the the challenge's purpose is lost, right? Like I thought it was gonna be some badass thing to be like, look how powerful I got. Well, not really. You kind of start that powerful, and more is coming, you know. So we'll see. I don't know. I'm just enjoying it, and that's fine. For now, we just play for fun. I definitely want to try to get all the achievements, so. And I want to try to, like, 100% it. Like, I want to do zones and stuff through completion, too, so. We got a lot of reps to gain. That's going to be the hardest part. Keep opening the wrong tab. Killing rares, though, without the achievement tied to them are kind of pointless. We fight that In terms of exploration, we still never explored the zones, which is really weird. Oh, Honeydew Village. That's the Alliance one, or the Horde one. Yeah, basically just fly around and do shit until we have to start caring more about a certain achievement. Oh, we didn't fight a guy either. Child of the Voice. Let's Character go. stuck? Oh, no, okay. Thought they were stuck on that rampart thing. I think they are still. Where'd they go? Oh, no, they're not on a mount now for some reason. Well, whoever the architects are of this camp, they could have put, put this a lot closer, I feel like. Oh, we're supposed to fight two guys. I will. Is that all you got? You can do better than that. I probably could, but no need to. Knowing this one is gone. Love this three second blink by the way. Well now that we have currently from yeah, eighty percent movement. I would love to fight with you again whenever you need me. Alright, then don't get stuck. Oh she's sitting, I think. Ah, that's actually cool. That's neat. This is the start of the follower system, though, I guess, huh? With these guys following you around? Does that not get reduced? Well, that doesn't get reduced for some reason. Hog wheel cooldowns. Oh, okay. It's not movement speed. It's that specific spell. So that would be dark packed if we had that in one in, right? Isn't that that's a one, right? Well, what's on your mind? I hope your moves aren't too predictable. I don't know, it's dark pack I think? Maybe they got rid of that one. Oh yeah, it's right there. What's wrong? Okay. That was pretty good. Seriously. Why is he full health again? What's going on here? Oh, he, he ate his orbs and now he's healing like a ton. Whoa. I haven't seen that one before. I guess you're pretty good after all. Sure, I'll go with you. Gotta study up on your moves. We fight that whenever you need me, I'll be here. Okay, let's turn him in, but not accidentally turn the wrong stuff in. Goodbye. White Tiger watch over you. Enough. That it? Oh, what is this? What's this quest? Oh, those are the Timeless Out quests, yeah. Pick up this flight path, never got it. We got the shield that guards the realms of men. Alright. Well, those are flying by. We're on to Kunlai Summit now. Actually, no, we'll go Jade Forest for here. Let's just hearth, it'll be faster.
I am the sword in the darkness. I am the watcher on the wall. I am the shield that guards the realms of men. I pledge my life and honor to the night's watch for this night and all nights to come. Blizzard liked Game of Thrones at the time. Don't blame him. When did Game of Thrones come out? Ah, 2011. So this was right as MOP was being developed. That's actually crazy. Now, I forgot. This is a big part of this. You want to do this. You want to pick these up. My goods are crafted. These give a box as well <laughs> for some fucking reason. So let's go do that quick because that's a free box. Could be a legendary in there. You never know. Get fucking paid. Look at the fucking bronze flying in. We were back up to 9,000. Whoa, they really did buff this. We already got 9,950. Whoa. That's pretty intense. Did they buff it? I don't think so. I think I'm just dumb. Speak. Be strong. They didn't buff the actual bronze anything, right? I'm just surprised. We got mad gems. Don't need these stupid rice. Who the fuck wants rice? Too many carbohydrates. You guys heard about those? Those are bad. Anyway, on to... Uh, there's these dailies too, which I didn't even think about doing. We should continue that quest line too. I think for this episode we'll just focus on the dailies because it's getting a little late. We only got about 15 minutes left. Then in the next episode we'll do that kind of stuff. Luckily the dailies take one minute each. There's one here that we won't be, well, and not here, but up here there's one that we won't be doing. It's like carry a torch a bunch and it's just not, like... It's not worth I I probably could do it, but it's just not worth it. We also need to check for the Warbringer. Oh, and we should go discover the Horde Zone. Finish that achievement. I love these achievements. I'm really pleased with how many different achievements there are. They did a great job with this. With all the different stuff that you can do in MOP and the actual rewards for it. They did an ab absolutely spectacular job. Tell me of your travels. Keep your eyes and heart open. What is that quest? Why, why is there other quests? You are most Restoring the balance. Slither skill. These are, they're, they're just both turned in here. That's why. I swear there was... Maybe it's because we hit Exalted too fast. But I thought that was quest to like throw a ball to the serpent and shit. That was why you were not exalted, I guess. Hurdle farm. I'm, I'm trying the new experimental farm. Kill 14 assault back yearlings per minute. It allows me to get bronze faster, which I'll use for no content. That was quick. All right, now we have to gather up the gold you found. You fool, it's only midnight. Moonlight. Won't you lend your lungs to me? Mine are collapsing. Plant your feet and bitterly breathe up the time that's passing. And breath I'll take and breath I'll keep. Pray the day is not poison. Stand along the lonely now. Lonely indecision. You know where that's from? Let me know. Uh, anyway, this has to go to a nest. Six out of six. Now we kill one enemy. These dailies, I don't know. <laughs> Even world quests are more complicated than them, but I I used to hate them. 
I remember thinking like, ah, oh, I can't be bothered. It's because I had no actual AoE as a holy pally. To sit there and denounce people. You guys remember denounce? Oh, if you played holy pally back in the early days, man. I think denounce lasted through wad even. It was a range spell with like a two second cast time. And that was your only real source of damage. You didn't do good melee damage back then. Welcome, Wanderer. Spirits bless your paths. Live for your dreams. The world. Those are only three. We're gonna cut out any. It's probably those in the future. Is there some reason that this stays? Like it wants me to do that turn in each day, maybe. You can turn it in infinitely. You don't need to do it once a day. War Scout. Ah, uh, and Warbringer. Can we get the Scout on top of the Oh, this guy's being attacked already. Uh, hopefully the Warbringer's not being attacked. Because I don't really want the Scout. Level 30 is, what are you, what? Is this some kind of boost group? What is that? Why is there a level 30 trying to kill that thing? Oh, so I also uh, messed around off screen with um, uh, party sync. I thought that might be a cool way to play the game, but it is not. It makes the gems not work, which is probably a bug, but they don't obviously give a shit. And on top of that, you can't, uh, you don't get anything from redoing the quest, so. Instead of party sync, how about we just make it second death knight? <laughs> that would be basically a better way to have party sync going. I'm actually kind of excited to do some alts though. I definitely want to do range survival hunter. We talked about that. I hope they won't make any changes to the cloak, man. I really hope they won't. There's a lot of people fucking crying their eyes out like, why doesn't my cloak, why isn't my cloak one for one on my alts? And don't forget how far behind I am, guys, right? Far behind, really far behind. You tell me you want 9,210 stamina on a level 10? You know how this game works? Do you know how overpowered you would be if you had 1,442 strength and 1,100 haste on a level 10? You could walk up to Galleon and one-shot him. That is not the video game. You don't understand how it works if you think that's a good idea. But regardless, I'm, I'm sure most people probably want the experience to be higher. Oh, two. Wow, two for the August Celestials. That's nice. The question, though, is can I buy, like, what do I do once I'm exalted? Can I buy the... I don't even remember how you get it. Like, I don't even know how you get the ref buff. Because, like, I should buy it. So other characters on this realm, well, like on my account, when I do mop remix, will have that luxury of being fast. But I don't know where you even buy it. <laughs> the only bad part about dragon riding in old zones, you get caught up a lot. All right, there's that done. It's a smaller chunk, but it's still 250. What other achievements, like, are waiting in the wings? Elusive float foes. Grass running wild, we just need one more. Pretty much, like, yeah, the rares. Dread waste, we didn't do either. Powerful enemies. Oh, Timeless Isle. We only need one more of those. Just like fucking shit is on the screen, just do it. That's pretty much what we're doing here. Oh, wait. We actually want to turn these in, but we'll wait until we're done. Oh. 
possible qualm could the August Celestials have with Shona? Grow up, bro. It's not that serious, whatever your beef is with this fella. of a fight. I'm just going to turn it in now. Not sure we'll even get another 5. Or another 10. 4 more gems. I mean, we're pretty close to Exalted at this point. Where are we at? Revered, we just hit revered. Slow down. I challenge you, King. I follow, I follow you, deep sea baby. I follow you. Good travels. We got 11k bronze already, and then we got like 14 items, maybe more like 24 items to turn in. These are probably the easiest ones. Welcome. But oh, this guy's not even here. Just some fucking explosion. This is a trap. Just walked into a. Abandoned building with a bunch of explosives on the floor. My Harvey Dent. You're gonna come for you, Rachel. I know the fortune when I said. I like the Batman. Does anybody else like those Batman? I, I, those Batman films were good films. Dynamite monkey? That might be racist, I feel like. Victory. Trying to blow us up. Just don't take my boom booms. He's like Julia from Pokemon Reborn. Really weird. Alright, there should be one more, right? Master Windfur, yeah. Master Windfury? Where is this? In, uh, in the middle, yeah. I like how the Zwen actually like follows us. It's pretty cool. Why does this guy got two shields? Oh, that's the Enkindle shield too. I was like, how the fuck does he have both? There used to be a legendary in uh, Shadowlands, I think, with that right power. My Pokemon cards got delivered, by the way. I'm so excited. I was really, 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 really nervous about that. It's supposed to be like five thousand dollars worth of cards. I don't know that they'll grade that high. I keep looking now into it more, but and I think I'm probably gonna end up wasting a lot of money on grading them. I don't know, but either way, pretty much like all the Japanese cards I had are like they they should be mint. Like I don't even know where I got those, but I definitely never played them. Like they were never shuffled once, so. All those cards should be absolutely uh, the highest that they can get based on the quality. I think there's some things that aren't just quality related though for some reason. But anyway, it seemed like they had gotten lost or something because it was like a week late. They were supposed to be delivered last Monday and they just got delivered this Monday, so. Yeah, so that's what I was saying. It's when just like follows you from building to building. It's cool. Alright, we don't have enough charms to do anything else. Well, that's a good place to stop. Let's go ahead and uh, open the bronze or whatever. Delete all the gear. It's going to take a while. You got a lot of gear now. So we have 11k right now in the dot. What just happened? Oh, I put it in the fucking brazier thing. Eleven K right now. Probably won't end up with much. Maybe another thousand.
Pretty sure we logged down with 7k. So in one hour we got 4k. Just doing dailies. No, in one hour we got... It'll probably be close to 5k once we're done with all this. Yeah, it's, it's 5k. I'm pretty sure we had 7,000, maybe 7,500-ish, so... We'll say 4.5k from one hour. Pretty good. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Next episode, we're going to be playing Mr. Pandaria Remix and complaining about it at the same time. See you guys there.